In 2023, tensions between NATO and Russia escalated due to the ongoing war in Ukraine, with several incidents involving Russian military forces testing the airspace and borders of NATO countries. Additionally, China's increasing assertiveness in the South China Sea and its strained relations with Taiwan have led to growing fears of regional conflict, potentially drawing in global powers. While a full-scale world war is not imminent, the current geopolitical landscape reflects significant instability. It's enough to make anyone wonder, are we on the brink of World War III? The truth is, the world has never been a particularly peaceful place. But lately, things have felt different more volatile, more unpredictable. Like that friend who swears they're fine while simultaneously chucking darts at a picture of their ex. It's a potent cocktail of geopolitical anxieties. And frankly, it's got everyone a little jittery. One of the biggest sources of tension right now is the growing divide between democratic countries and shall we say, less than democratic ones. Think of it like a global game of capture the flag, but instead of flags, we're fighting over ideologies and influence. On one side, you've got the United States and its allies waving the banner of democracy and human rights. On the other, you have countries like Russia and China who prefer their power centralized and their dissent silenced. This clash of values isn't exactly new but it's become increasingly fraught in recent years, with both sides digging in their heels and accusing the other of undermining global stability. It's like watching a particularly tense game of chess, except the stakes are much higher than just bragging rights. Ah, the Middle East, land of ancient history, stunning landscapes, and enough geopolitical drama to make a soap opera blush. This region has been a hotbed of conflict for decades and unfortunately, that doesn't seem to be changing anytime soon. One of the biggest flashpoints right now is the relationship between Iran and Israel, which could be politely described as frosty. Iran, with its nuclear ambitions and fiery rhetoric, has made it clear that it doesn't consider Israel a friend. Israel understandably isn't thrilled about this and has vowed to defend itself by any means necessary. Add in a healthy dose of proxy wars, religious tensions, and international meddling, and you've got a recipe for disaster. All it would take is one wrong move, one miscalculation, to set the whole region ablaze. Remember that whole chess game analogy from earlier? Well, Ukraine is the pawn that's currently stuck in the middle of the board. Russia, feeling threatened by the expansion of NATO, the West's military alliance, into Eastern Europe, decided to reclaim Ukraine in 2022. This, as you might imagine, didn't sit well with Ukraine or its Western allies. The result? a brutal and bloody conflict that has already claimed thousands of lives and displaced millions more. While a direct confrontation between Russia and NATO hasn't happened yet, the risk of escalation is very real. And if that happens, well, let's just say it wouldn't be good for anyone involved. Across the globe, another potential flashpoint is brewing, Taiwan. This island nation, just off the coast of mainland China, has become a major point of contention between well, China and pretty much everyone else. You see, China views Taiwan as a breakaway province that needs to be reunified with the mainland by force if necessary. Taiwan, on the other hand, prefers its independence and democratic way of life, thank you very much. The United States, along with many of its allies, has pledged to defend Taiwan if China ever decides to make a move. This has put China in a tricky position, back down and lose face, or escalate the situation and risk a wider conflict with the most powerful military force on the planet. Neither option is particularly appealing, which is why this situation has the potential to get very messy, very quickly. And then there's North Korea, the unpredictable cousin at the family reunion who keeps showing off their new ballistic missile collection. This isolated nation, ruled by the enigmatic Kim Jong-un, has been a thorn in the side of the international community for decades. Its pursuit of nuclear weapons, coupled with its penchant for saber-rattling and threats against its neighbors, South Korea and Japan mostly, has kept everyone on high alert. While North Korea's bark has often been worse than its bite, the threat it poses is very real. A nuclear-armed North Korea, with its unpredictable leadership and history of provocative actions, is a recipe for disaster. It's like giving a loaded gun to a toddler who's just discovered the joys of smashing things. Not exactly a comforting thought, is it? 
So, we've got rising authoritarianism, a volatile Middle East, a war in Europe, and a nuclear-armed North Korea. And if that wasn't enough, here's the kicker. All of these issues are interconnected. Like a giant terrifying game of Jenga, pulling on one piece could bring the whole thing crashing down. For example, the war in Ukraine has already had a ripple effect on global food and energy prices, further destabilizing an already fragile world order. Increased tensions between the US and China over Taiwan could easily spill over into other areas, such as trade or cybersecurity. And any conflict involving North Korea would have catastrophic consequences for the entire region. In this environment of heightened tension and mistrust, the risk of miscalculation is higher than ever. All it takes is one wrong move, one misunderstanding, to set off a chain reaction that could spiral out of control. Imagine, for example, a minor naval incident in the South China Sea escalating into a full-blown conflict between the US and China, or a terrorist attack in the Middle East being wrongly attributed to Iran, triggering a retaliatory strike by Israel. These scenarios may seem far-fetched, but in the current geopolitical climate, they're not entirely outside the realm of possibility. So, are we on the brink of World War III? The honest answer is, nobody knows for sure. The world is a complex and unpredictable place, and predicting the future is a fool's errand. However, one thing is clear, the risk of a major global conflict is higher now than it has been in decades. The good news is that we're not there yet. There's still time for diplomacy, for dialogue, for cooler heads to prevail. But it's going to take a concerted effort from all sides to de-escalate tensions, find common ground, and build a more peaceful and stable world. Otherwise, that giant game of Jenga we're all playing might just come crashing down around us. And nobody wants to see that happen.